Hello, my name is Narayanan. I am the founder and chairman of Kotaram Agro Foods, the makers of the soulful brand of uh, food products. You know, agriculture is increasingly becoming technology intensive. And if you really see the differentiation today of various agricultural products, technology has a big role to play. Uh, in the area of food production, in the area of fruit production, in the area of feed, in the area of feedstock for industry, and in the area of fuel, technology has a big role to play in helping agriculture meet the various challenges. Till some time ago, uh, there was not so much importance for technology in agriculture, but the farmers are increasingly realizing that technology is what is going to be the differentiator. And uh, today, if you see the companies which are addressing the farmers' needs, they are all investing increasingly in technology. Uh, there is this notion that uh, technology somehow is against agriculture becoming nature friendly or agriculture leading to the production of safe food. Actually, it's the other way. Technology has a big role to play in producing more food, more quality food, and more safe food. The food that we eat today generally, contrary to what is being projected, is much safer than what we had many years ago. And that's probably reflected in the average health situation of the population. Take India, for instance. At the turn of the uh, century, or I will go back a little further, when India got its independence, the average lifespan of an Indian was less than 30 years. Today, it is close to 70 years. And that's probably because of more quantity of food, more nutritious food, and, of course, better health care facilities. So it's a combination of various things. And the quantity and quality of food has had a major say in this result. You. you know, future of agriculture is going to be more and more technology intensive. To meet the growing challenges, the arising challenges, if you want to call that, be it climate change leading to climatic vagaries, either excess rain or drought, uh, untimely rains, or the growing demand, not just due to the growing population, but the kind of varieties that people demand because of their growing incomes. The agriculture has to produce more with lesser and lesser resources of production. So when I talk about resources of production, it could be water. So you have to produce more per drop of water. It could be land area, because land is being used for various other purposes. The amount of arable area is diminishing because of the demand on the land for other purposes. So you have to produce more from unit of land. Labor is a big challenge. So today in India, more than 50% of all working people are engaged in agriculture. But this situation cannot continue. The number of people engaged in primary production will be coming down, and they have to be engaged in more profitable ventures, which means the productivity of person engaged in agriculture has to be improved. So you need mechanization. And when I talk about mechanization, I'm not talking about these big machines like they have in Brazil or the USA. In India, the land is highly fragmented. So you need to have smaller units, and maybe a model by which these units can be rented or hired by a group of farmers in a hub and fork, spoke kind of model. I sometimes tend to refer to this as Uberization of agricultural machines, you know, for want of a better term. So some those things are going to happen. And you need to have uh, systems by which you can produce closer to the area of consumption. So peri-urban areas where the land is very expensive, speculative values, you need to have multiple levels of production, sometimes called vertical farming. And you have to adopt methods like aeroponics or hydroponics so that uh, without soil and in containment, you can produce safe food 
without the uh, residues of noxious chemicals and stuff like that.